Thank you for joining us. First at 530, one city putting a proactive approach to violent crime thanks to state funding and a partnership with state police. Waterbury police have a dedicated violent crime task force. Something the chief believes is necessary after a recent spike in crime. Just a few days ago, a man right here drove through an accident scene causing all kinds of chaos. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera got a one-on-one -on -one with Waterbury's police chief. And he explains why he is saying the city is already a safer place. Go get guns! We got a gun! You can see he's got a gun in his hand. Yeah. As the officers continue to give pursuit. This is one of many recent arrests made by Waterbury Police's fairly new violent crime task force. Staffed with eight Waterbury police officers and two state troopers, the task force's goal is to focus solely on major and violent crimes in the city. According to police data, violent crime as of October 31st is up more than 35 percent. Police Chief Fernando Spagnolo says there are a number of repeat offenders responsible for that. These are the convicted felons. These are people that are uh, being released that are on probation and parole back into our community. These are people that have a history of recidivism of violent crime in our community. He says the task force is able to commit more time on these criminals and it's resulted in a number of arrests already. We get deeper uh, down the line into criminal activity. Uh, we recover more guns. We recover more uh, illegal uh, drugs, deadly drugs that are on our streets and we make better cases that can be prosecuted either at a state level or a federal level. And that's that's truly the benefit. Chief Spagnolo says this has helped keep gang and group criminal activity at bay. A huge benefit, University of New Haven criminal justice lecturer Ken Gray says, from these task forces. You can really bring this type of gang activity to its knees if you have the uh, additional resources and the uh, additional technology and databases to be able to really focus in on those groups. Similar violent crime task forces have also been established in Hartford and New Haven as well, with plans to create more in other cities soon. Here in Waterbury, Dennis Valera, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.